came on the scene in Acts chapter number 2 it came suddenly and it was like a great and mighty rushing wind hallelujah to God if we just get unified in prayer and unified in the same purpose the power of God can do the supernatural he can do more in five seconds than I can do in a lifetime oh how we need the breath of God we need the power of God to breathe on this place live in a society where we want something right now and it doesn't matter if we get ahead of God it doesn't matter if we do it in our own power just so we get what we want when we want then everything will be okay but honey it don't work like that it'll be in God's timing when God says it'll be done or it won't get done at all I'm here to tell you if it takes five years ten years 25 years I want to operate in God's perfect will I want to walk in God's perfect timing I don't want to take a step unless God takes a step I don't want to go forward unless God going forward. I want to be in God's perfect will because at the end of the day, if all I have is His power, that's all I need. All we need is the Holy Ghost of God to fall on our lives. But I want the real thing, honey. I don't want something manufactured. I don't want something cheap. I don't want some cheap knockoff. I want the real thing. I want the real fire. I want the real power of God. I want the real anointing. I want real results. I want the real thing. And I believe that God is setting up a people to see something that we've never seen before. But it's going to take us being together in one mind and one accord. I am the Lord, I change not. Now if you've heard me say this once, I've said it a thousand times. If God's ever moved, He can move again. If God's ever raised up a place, He can raise up a place now. If God's ever given the grace to see you through the trials, God can give the grace to see you through now. If God ever saved a sinner, God can save them now. If God ever changed lives, God can change them now. If God ever birthed a church, God can birth one now. If God ever sent revival, God can send one now. If God moved in D.L. Mooney's day, God can move now. If God moved in Billy Sunday's day, God can move now. If God moved in Charles Spurgeon's day, God can move now. If God moved on Billy Cram, God can move now. That's my God. He's never changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. All of the great revivals that's ever been recorded has always taken place when the country was in their darkest times. It's not too far gone for my God. And yes, it's dark. And yes, it's dry. And yes, the world don't want to hear the truth. But I believe God's got a remnant. And in this remnant, the power of God's going to fall. And when it falls, it's going to change the world for time and for eternity.